Shalom everyone. Well, now that fall is here, I thought this would be a great time to make a little video tutorial of uh, how I make my pumpkin challah bread. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is heat up some, a pot of water on your stove and put it in your oven like this and close the door because you want your oven to start, you know, getting warm and moist for your yeast. So after you do that, you put your yeast in your bowl with about half a cup of water at about 110 temperature with some sugar, a little bit of salt, and wait about 10 minutes and this is the effect you want. You want it nice and activated. So next in your bowl, you want to mix up your egg and your six egg yolks and your oil, half a cup of honey and some pumpkin spices. Whisk that all together really well. Now to that, you just add your brown sugar and pumpkin puree and whisk all this together really well and then after that you add it to your yeast here and mix that all together good. Now once you have all that mixed together nice and good, now is when you want to start adding in your seven to nine cups of flour, but you want to add it one cup at a time. So you put your one cup of flour in, mix all that up, add your next cup, add your next cup, make sure you keep track of it. Okay, so once you uh, have all your flour added and you take your dough out of your bowl and knead it for a long time, and once you're done kneading your dough, place it in your bowl that's covered with some oil. Flip it over so it's got a little oil there. Cover it with a nice, warm, moist towel. Then place it on the middle rack of your oven, right above your pot of boiling water. Do not turn your oven on. This is just a warm, moist environment so that your dough can rise for an hour. Okay, y'all, after an hour, take your dough out. Let's check it. Oh yeah, that is very nice. See how much that is really risen? So at this point, what you want to do is just kind of Poke it down a few times, get some of that air out. It's probably good enough. Then uh, go ahead and cover it up and put it back in the oven for another hour. Here we go. Okay, so we have taken the dough out of the oven now and look at how beautiful that is, how much it has risen. So at this point, what we want to do is take all this dough out See that? Put it on your floured surface. Make sure you've got a lot of flour. You might want to kind of help this out a little bit. And what you want to do is start kneading this again. And knead this a little bit more. In the book of Numbers, um, chapter 15, Verse 20 through 21, the mitzvah says, Set aside from your first dough a cake as a gift. Set it aside as you would set aside a portion of the grain from the threshing floor. From your first dough you will give Adonai a portion as a gift through all your generations. So when I'm making my challah bread, I like to take a piece and set it aside and bless it for Adonai. And now we are ready to take the challah. And basically what we're going to do is, I like to do this anyways, is I separate a piece of challah from the dough and I bless this and I bless it for Adonai. Blessed are you, Adonai, our Elohim, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and the commanding to separate challah from the dough. May it be your will, eternal Elohim, that the commandment of separating Hala be considered as if I had performed it with all of its details and ramifications. May the spiritual influence of the mitzvah of Hala enable me to be constantly sustained by the hands of the Holy One. Blessed is he with his abundant mercy, loving kindness and love. Consider the mitzvah of Hala as if I have given the tithe. And just as I am fulfilling this mitzvah with my heart, so may your compassion be aroused to keep me from sorrow and pain, always and forever. 
so be it. Okay, y'all, so what you want to do here is um, just basically cut in two equal halves. And it kind of depends on um, what size of loaf that you want to make. But um, just get your two halves. Now, one half you're going to put back in your bowl. Cover it with your moist towel to keep it warm and moist and put this back in your oven. With this loaf, you want to cut that in about three equal parts. Now see y'all, you want to roll your pieces out into about three equal pieces, pretty close. And um, take your ends, and if you know how to braid, basically what you want to do is just kind of twist and, and pinch these ends right here. Okay, kind of separate your little pieces here like this. And here's how I do it. And then when you get to this end, you just kind of do the same thing. Kind of pinch it together at the end and, and tuck it under. See how you have a, a nice braid. Now you do this with your, your other um, loaf as well that's in the oven, in the moist oven. So... I'm OCD, so everything's got to be per. I'll sit here and mess with it and, and make it all perfect for an hour. I just got to let it be. <laughs> okay, so here's my two loaves. And um, now that they're braided, cover it with your moist, warm towel and put it back in your oven to keep it moist for about another 30 to 40 minutes while you uh, mix up your, your egg uh, paste. And I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Okay, y'all, so I have two different pans. This pan that I'll bake this loaf on, I like to use this. This pan here, I, it's just a regular pan with parchment paper. I've had failures using both ways, so I've learned just to use to just do it like this each time. It's kind of a pain, but you know, so however you want to try it that works for you. The problem is, is that the bottom of the loaves like to burn, and it doesn't matter what rack you've got. I mean, I've tried all different variations, and sometimes some work, some don't. So I like to cheat a little bit. Some people will take a little icing and put on these before they bake them. I like to take my cinnamon sugar. Let me just move this over and we'll look at it on this. I like to put a little bit of cinnamon sugar on here like this. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. It smells like apple pie. Now, no, I, I, I'm sorry. It smells like pumpkin pie. So. Um, let me get a little bit of, let me show you how I'm going to do this. Put a little bit of cinnamon sugar on here. Now, your egg wash is like two egg yolks and a little bit of water. And so you just want to take this and, you know, brush it all over. Let me try to do this so you can see it well. Brush it all over like this on all your loaves. And I, I'm going to just stop the video here and do all this but just so you can see brush all this all over okay all right y'all there we go into the oven 350 degrees for about 30 40 minutes keep your eye on it don't let it burn oh yeah y'all after about 20 minutes turn your pans around and rotate it so they can cook evenly look at that oh my goodness oh my goodness Y'all, I've already burned my arm once, and I put colloidal silver on it. See? Uh, right there. Ooh, it feels so much better already. Now, let's look at this. Oh, good golly. Oh, good, good Isn't that gorgeous? Mmm, mmm. 
Okay, y'all, so I uh, put them on this cooling rack I have to let them cool, but I think the bottoms didn't get too scorched or burnt, but yeah, they I think they turned out real nice, real nice. So I can't wait to cut these open. The whole house smells like pumpkin pie. So I hope that um, maybe you guys will try this out and let me know how it worked for you. And I hope this blesses you. And I hope that you're able to make some of this wonderful challah bread for your Shabbat. And, and that it just completely makes it special and more blessed. And I have a lot of other um, recipes for this um, challah bread. So if you're interested, let me know and I'll give you some other recipes. But uh, anyways, I'll bring this to a close. So here's a tutorial. Baruch Hashem Yahweh.